All right, time to play some H3 VR. As you can probably guess, I'm back in the long range range. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to check out what I can do uh, with this weapon. Everyone knows this is the uh, WA-2000, Agent 47's favorite sniper rifle. Oh, sniper rifle. Oh, uh, it's not really considered a sniper rifle, but... Uh, well, yeah, I think it is. But uh, yeah, you know, I mean... Uh, Last time we did the uh, Barrett, the M107, I think it was called, but that was rated for extreme long ranges, so this this is not, but uh, we're going to see, well, I'm going to see if we can push this thing out uh, pretty far. I've got it all set up, got the uh, hover sled right here, locked and ready to go, and I also, before I, um, I did a couple of test fire shots without zeroing anything in, and uh I remember that this gun does not have tracer ammunition, so I put tracers on there. So now we can actually see where the bullets are going. So uh, hopefully we're recording. I think we are. And uh, yeah, let's let's get this set up. This is kind of pointed in some random direction that I just put in. But uh, as you can see, tracers. Not the magazine. And, uh, yeah. So, I need to move this down. This is X, this is Y. So I need to go on the Y axis and move this down. I think we should be getting close to where we want to hit. Is this the one? Or, no, it's in the bottom. Okay, I see it. A little off, though. I almost had it. <laughs> but, uh, there it is. Okay, I see it. Actually, you know what? Let's zoom this in because I can't see anything. Hey, that was close. I almost had it centered. All right, well, I need to center it, so... Let's move this over like this. Move this a little lower. Uh, actually, yeah, not, that should be pretty good. All right, we've got ourselves a fresh magazine. Yep. Let's charge this. Whoops, I put out... I need to put this bullet back in. There we go. Oh, man, all this stuff around me. I need to move it. All right. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, I need to fire a couple shots, make sure where I'm hitting. Let's uh, lower the magnification a bit, because I know this is 1,200. I've already got the zoo. Oh, no, I have to zero this thing, don't I? All right, I need to zero it to 1,000. I need to move this back up. Hopefully this will, this is going up. I don't think so. Nope. Actually, hold on. Wait a second. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We're dealing at long ranges here, so... Movement is a little slow. Fortunately, if you zoom it in, it gets a little faster because, well, it's just a perception. Yeah, see? All right, so we uh, we zero this to the base zero is one thousand meters. Let's just move this up a bit. Do a couple of shots just to uh, see where we're landing. Okay, let's do it. Just at the bottom of those of uh, the uh, crosshair, right? So we're going to move this up, like so. About there, that's close to center, right? And then we will hit the elevation. I should use this controller, because it's a lot better. Okay, here we go. We're going to go with 7.5. It looks like it's going to work. Fire off another shot. Right at the bottom of the third hash. Yeah, right underneath that third line. So we're going to move the gun up a bit to the third uh, right about there. 
and then we'll change the elevation the match about 11.25 Ooh, right at the second, right? Yeah, right beneath that second line. So we're going to move this up like so. Move this down. About 13.5 minutes of angle. Oh, I think I'm out. Yes, I am. Okay, so I think that was above the second line now, so let's just move this up right there. Ooh, nice. That was a solid hit, but we still need to zero or, you know, change the elevation. So uh, right there, 15.5. And uh, I think this gun's mechanical accuracy is pretty good. As far as I'm seeing, all the shots seem to be straight down the middle. There's no, like, left or right, you know? So, yeah. This is a precision uh, shooting weapon. Uh, I think that's what... No, that's not what it's called. <laughs> I don't know. Let's, uh, let's, let's see if we get a good... Let's see if we uh, zeroed this properly. Ooh, right on the... I think that was a shoulder. Oh, there we go. Center. Okay. It's a little too high, to be honest with you. I think I should be aiming here. Then I'll dip the elevation down or up 16. Ooh, the dogs are barking. Probably a stray dog out there. Where did that hit? Did that hit? Did that look like the uh, the shoulder area? Oh, that was over. That was over. I think I might have uh, messed up my changes there. Yeah, that was over. Okay, we're shooting over now. So I need to uh, go down a bit. Wait, no, hold on. If I need to go down, I need to remove some MOA. And then I need to move the thing down. Oh, we're at max zoom. Still hitting a little high, so... I think that would be good. Let's, uh, let's check here. Just a little bit more. I want it to be directly in the crosshair. Like right in the middle. That's close. That's close. Let's move it down a bit. See if we can hit center. Oh yeah, that's pretty close. Actually, let's just try 15. Oops. Yeah, there we go. I think that was kind of on the crosshair, not quite on it, but, uh, but we'll do a couple more shots just to make sure. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much on target. So 15 MOA. I don't remember what the, um, the Barrett's MOA for this range was, but, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Moving on. A lot of uh, less variance, like I said, with the uh, with some of the uh, windage, you know, because uh, this is a uh, this is supposed to be a uh, well. I mean, actually, I don't remember, but well, whatever. It's it's a lot more uh, 
you know, precise. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to move on to 1,250. Is that what we're going to do next? Need to actually move this thing. Alright, let's see. 1,250. Where is that? That's right up there. We're going to move this up. Okay, there we go. That's as close to center as we can get. This thing is very accurate. Okay. Uh, 1,250. We might have to uh, adjust the uh, elevation. I think I got a round in there. Okay, good. It's a little low. Right, I think, beneath the second line, second hash. So, this up. Right there. Just do a shot. Just a little more. Might be below the third one as well. Let's adjust the elevation. Okay. Ooh, just so close. I think that was above the second one. Yep, just right above it. That is really... Okay. I think I'll probably get this once I dial this in. So 21 minutes of angle. Maybe that might be the magic number. Oh, am I out? I am out. <laughs> Look how many magazines I've already used. Ooh, nice hit. Nice hit. Although, I want to see if that's exactly center. It might be. It might be a little high. Let's, uh, let's dial this down a bit. 20.5, let's try that. All right, yeah, that's pretty close, because we're hitting above, sh you know, we're hitting around shoulder level of the target. So let's uh, let's move down a bit and see if we can get a good center shot. Yeah, that's pretty close to where the center is. Just a little bit, a hair above, uh, above the center to the right. But again, that could just be mechanical accuracy. Can we adjust for that, though? Windage. Hmm. Huh. And then we want to raise this up just a bit. That's where it was hitting, right? Looked like it. Oh, no. Yeah, again, that could be mechanical accuracy. So I don't need to adjust the windage, just maybe the elevation a bit. Oh, am I out already? Wow, this thing eats through ammo. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Right on target. Now if we go for a headshot, we should be able to get uh, a good headshot right in the center of those crosshairs. Maybe a little bit high. But I'll fix that if that happens. Bing! Right on the head. Nice. Nice. That is excellent. This, this ballistic system. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent work, Anton. This is great. Go for another headshot. Ooh, that was just a little bit to the to the right, just just a, a slight bit. You you could see through the bullet trail. It kind of just went. It kind of went. Oops. 
well, I can't really show you, but where the, where the center line is on the crosshair, it was just kind of a little to the to the right. But again, I, I think that's mechan again that's mechanical accuracy. So, oh, this one I can't even see the bullet trail, so that means that uh, it's pretty centered. Wow, man! All right, now this is uh, <laughs> this is a uh, assassin level right here. This is zeroed, you know, right to the center. Okay, so that was one thousand two hundred. Um, since this, uh, since this rifle is a little more accurate, well, not a little, but I guess a lot more, why don't we try, uh, the small plate, small white plates over there on the, uh, on the right. Let's see if we can hit that small target. It's a pretty small target. Moving towards this. Oops. I want to go to magnification. Come on. So hard using a trigger and the touchpad at the same time. Of course, the trigger was a little, or the uh, touchpad was a little, uh, a little higher. Because, uh, yeah, if it were a little higher, then uh, I could hit left and right more effectively while holding the trigger. All right, uh, a little weird, uh, weird tangent there. Sorry about that. Let's just uh, move this towards the center of the plate and see if we can get a good shot. See, they're really small targets, right? Let me just get the center of this. All right, that should be centered. Okay. Ooh, nice. That was a hit. Yeah, I can see the target swinging. That was a little above. But just, just by, again, a hair. Just like a tiny micro-millimeter kind of like... Oh, am I out? This thing needs to have like an extended magazine. <laughs> It'd be so useless, right? Just an extended magazine. But uh, it'd be funny. Oh, uh, release the bolt. Oh, just a little bit off... Uh oh well I did hit it I, I lost tracking for some reason that was weird let me try one more time and I really need to stop hold on yeah that was directly on uh, what I was about to say was I really need to stop closing my other eye because now my face is sore and uh, it's a habit that I have and a lot of a lot, I think whoop, did I just move my microphone oh no sorry about that uh, it's a habit that a lot of uh, <laughs> beginner shooters have. The the that uh, we close our eyes when we aim, and uh, I mean, you know, it, the, some people say that you can do that, but for me personally, I just like I wish I could. I wish I didn't do it because now my face is tired, and uh, hopefully I didn't mess up my mic too much. If you're hearing this on the uh, recording, that's me adjusting my mic. And, uh, yeah. I completely forgot it was there. <laughs> that's how immersive this is. All right. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much on center. So this thing, is, this thing is locked on. All right. That is pretty cool. So let's go away. Let's, uh, let's get to go away. Let's get to the next range which is the 1500 I'm bad with numbers so you might have to excuse me for uh yeah 1500 okay good this one will be a little bit tougher and I think I should have went for the right target but I don't, I'm scrolling to the left one <laughs> but uh yeah all right let's zoom this baby in Oh, we got close, close to center. All right, uh, yeah. So now we gotta we gotta zero this in or uh, uh, dial in the uh, the numbers. Oh, uh, we can do a little guessing game. Maybe if I just uh, change the elevation, 
let's see if I if I increase this to about maybe 26 let's see if that is good again you could probably do this with calculations but uh, I'm not really too good with the calculations and uh, I'd have to have a calculator with me but uh, <laughs> some people can do this on the fly. That's pretty impressive. You know, they just like the natural born uh, like snipers out there just be like, okay, this is like uh, 1,500. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do like, you know, 15, you know, clicks, uh, whatever. All right. That was, yeah, that was pretty bad. Uh, oops. I, I'm, oh, no. Okay, so I need to change the magnification just to see where the, the shot lands, because I think I messed that up. <sighs> All right, that is way, way down there. So that was a, uh, that guess was a little too low. We need to move this up a bit more. Let's go 32. And let's move this up. Oh, am I out? Oh my goodness, I am out. Okay, we're getting there. All right, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna forego the guessing, and I'm gonna actually just you know. So that was below the last, right above the edge of the uh, crosshair there. So I'm just gonna move this up. This probably again. There's probably a better way to do this. I'm still learning, so I need to actually keep researching this. All right, so it was about there. We'll just move the uh, elevation up a bit more. Oh, let's go 40. Let's try 40. You know what? Let's uh, put this on the center. Actually, this is off now. don't know why that's off. Okay. Ooh, so close. We just need to move it up a bit like this. And keep adding until we get like 42. Let's try 42. Still a little bit more. I think it was over here. Might have to zoom that in or uh, slow-mo that, but uh, just going to try this. 44 and oh you know what I need to we're getting closer here so let's zoom the uh, image in zoom the scope Ooh, so close just above that one so there oh I went a little too far 46. I'll try 46. Are we still... Alright, let's just put a fresh new mag in there. Just a little bit more. I'm thinking maybe right here. 47. Oh, right there. There we go. That was pretty good. We'll do one more shot just to uh, make sure. All right. And for the ultimate test, I'm going to start doing this now. We're going to try to get headshots. So center this bad boy in there. That's right. Dead center, I think. Hmm, just a little bit to the right, but again, that could be mechanical accuracy at work. Hopefully my microphone is still good. Yeah, okay. Well, but uh, yeah, that was a headshot, so I was just uh, I was just checking my OBS there through the uh, nose hole of my uh, headset. So that's, uh, yeah, 1,500. This is moving pretty fast now that I've 
uh, developed some sort of uh, procedure, process, whatever you want to call it. Is there anything here? No, just two targets. All right, so you know what? Let's go for 1,800. Go for an even harder target. It's going to be pretty, pretty difficult. Because there's a lot of distance here that we have to work with. And <laughs> this, ain't, uh, this ain't a Barrett, so this ain't a 50 caliber BMG, you know... 300 Win Mag, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good round, but it ain't no 50 cal. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, 1,800. So uh, I think we might have to go a little high on the numbers here. I'm trying to remember what the um, what the 2,000 meter uh, MOA was for uh, the Barrett. It was 68, right? I have a feeling we're probably going to blow past that, but I don't know. I mean, you know, the, the simulation is accurate, but, you know, I don't know if it's that accurate. But we will see. We will see. All right. Okay. We have enough ammo. We about have uh, three rounds left. Oh, that is way down there. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, well, we're just going to have to, eh, hold on just a second. I want to, well, you know what, let's just put it at the bottom of the cross here for now. Right there, that's good. And then we'll uh, change the elevation. The 2.5. We'll see where this lands. Oh no, we'll we'll keep it at this uh, magnification. Oh, it's still down there. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep uh, adjusting this. Just does not have the power to go all the way without serious compensation for. Whoa, what was that? That was my computer. For bullet drop. So, 300 Win Mag. Again, pretty good round, but not a 50 BMG. Uh, although someone, I think, probably could correct me on that. I might be wrong. But uh, ballistics is a very, very difficult, uh, difficult thing. Okay, we're at 60. 60 MOA. Uh, yeah, that's center enough. Whatever. I just want to see where the bullet lands. Wait, do we have, uh, oh, no, we do not have any more ammo there. Okay, we're, hit, we're hitting the bottom of that, that, uh, that vertical wall. I think that's a vertical wall, right? So we're, we're hitting the bottom of the crosshair. Uh, let's try that again one more time. Yep, okay, so we just need to move this up. It's probably a little bit more, but uh, just to be on the safe side, we'll just uh, move this up. And uh, elevation, keep going. Keep going until we get to uh, the target. 67.5 is pretty good. Let's move this uh, a little bit center. There we go. And uh, let's uh, zoom in a bit. I think we're getting close here. Okay. Right beneath the second, second line, second hash. So need to move this up. Second, right about there. About 69.75. Let's just see where this bullet lands. Oh, 
Okay, even more. Seventy two. Let's try this. Even more. Seventy four point twenty five. Let's try this. Even more. Okay, let me just uh, change mags here. About this high. All right, let me just uh, file this in here. 76.5. Let's move this over to the center as well. Oh, just a little bit more. You can start getting this. Oh, a little more, huh? I feel like I'm not getting anywhere, but it might might just take a little more work than we thought. Oh, we need to keep going. Keep going. Yeah, let's go with 83.25. A little bit more. I think it was above the uh, second, right? So we don't need to go too far. Just like right about here. Then we're getting close. Just need to dial in a bit more. Oh man, this is this is painstaking work here. Hold on. I want to do this. Let's try this. All right. I didn't see where that landed. And we're out. One more time. We're just above it. Eighty nine point two five. And I need to move this over the center a bit. There we go. Ooh, man, we're getting there. We're getting there slowly. Again, there could be a faster way to do this, but, uh... Oh, we're halfway. Like, right about here. It's, it's increasing. It's uh, really small, but it's increasing. Oops, uh, I went too far. Let's try 90.1, and then we'll just... Slightly move it up a bit. Did we go over? I think we went over. Yeah, we went over. Hold on. Let's try 90. Yay, there we go. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, let me just uh, see if I can get a headshot here. Ooh, that took a long time. Oh, am I out? Oh. Look at how many magazines I've used. That's a lot of mags. 
This is a, such a fun thing to do, though. I, I now I see like I understand why a lot of people get into long range shooting. Is the feeling of dialing in those numbers, right, and then seeing that hit? That is, that is, that is pretty cool. Yeah, it's a little. I think I hit under the the uh, the the center of the crosshairs there, below. Just a little bit, huh? So I want to go down. Ninety point twenty five. That might be. Okay, I think that's center. All right, so let's actually aim for the head now. Do I still have ammo? I still have three rounds left. Okay. Ooh, that was a little high. Maybe that might just be mechanical accuracy. Let's try one more. Oh, that one's a little to the left. Oh, yeah. That was pretty dead on. All right. Well, I think I did it. Let me just do a couple more shots just to make sure. Okay. That was a hit. That was a hit. Although... I just want to make sure, you know. Okay. Well, I mean, it's hidden. It's uh, it's a uh, hidden, hidden, not hidden. <laughs> there's a there's a difference. But uh, yeah, there we go. So that is ninety point twenty five minutes of angle. Uh, I want to see. Hold on, just a second. Come on. Let me check out my uh, M107. 68 minutes of angle. Let's see if we can do uh, do that same thing. I, again, hold on just a second. Let me, because uh, I'm sitting down here, this is a lot harder to do. Wait, am I facing the right way? This is the right way, okay. But yeah, you can you can tell 68 minutes of angle. Uh, this is a 50 BMG, so this is a lot more powerful of a round flying down range. Right, where is there it is? I see it. Okay, all right. Let's see if I can spot this thing. Thousand meters. Oh no, I can't see if I hit it. Hold on. Oh, I missed. I think I missed. Well, I missed anyways, so. Oh, that was close. Oh man, hold on. My hands are too shaky. I can't. Ah, oh, man. Ah. Just can't seem to put my cursor, my crosshairs. Ah, oh, I know I missed that one. I, well, I think I hit something. I didn't hit the target. Ooh, all right, that is, that's tough. I think I might need to adjust this thing a bit more. All 
All right, here we go. Oh, do I? I still have. Okay. If I can't hit this, then uh, it's gonna be pretty bad. Wait, hold on. Where is everything? I need to find it. Oh, that is not the right. There we go. Okay. Ah, man. I think that was mechanical accuracy. Ah, <sighs> uh, just a little to the left, huh? I think I I think I hit it. I'm I hit something. I hit behind it probably, but uh Yeah. Am I out? I might have one more in the uh to do. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. I, well, I hit the frame, but, uh, yeah, it seems to be there. It just, uh, that mechanical accuracy is a little crazy. All right. But I just wanted to see what the, uh, elevation was. 68 minutes of angle. Okay. This one is like 90, so. All right, so that's 1,000, oops, 800. Get back there. There we go. 1,800. All right, let's try 2,000. Which is uh, over to the right here. Oh, wait, hold on. I, I don't even know where it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see it. There we go. Okay. All right, this shouldn't be too much uh, work. Okay, just need to move it up a bit to the third, probably. All right, let's adjust the uh, MOA here. 94. A little closer. There we go. Okay. Uh, just a little more. Like right there. I have one in the uh, chamber. So that shouldn't be a problem. 96.5. A little more higher. I want to say right above there. Ninety nine point five. Just a little more. We're at the 100 mark. Uh, that's probably 100 and 101.75. One it's in like one fourth increments, right? I don't know my math. All 
right. I need to move it a little higher. Probably about right here. One hundred three point five. A little more. Yeah, okay. I can't see one hundred five point seven five. Ooh, we just need to move it up a bit more. 106. I don't know what that is. I will figure that out later. Just a little more. Right here, right? 108. 109.5. 109.75. Am I out? Oh, I need a... There's one in the chamber. Just a little more. Like right here. 111.5. Mm. So close. One thirteen point five. Even more. We're getting into some really long ranges here. Hold on just a second. Okay. 115.5. It's getting there, man. It's getting there. One sixteen point five. Ah, wrong button. One eighteen. Oh, even more. Why not? Let, all right, I'm just going to do this. This might be a guess, but again, there's probably an efficient way to do this. <laughs> I don't know. Oops, did I? Oh, I need to. Oh, so close. We're getting there. It's about like this, right? Twenty-two. <sighs> so close. One twenty-three point five. I hit something. Three more, three more rounds. I might be hitting the back wall.
Yeah, I might be hitting hitting the the back wall. Hmm. One twenty five. Okay, good. 125. Let me just uh, make sure. Just a little bit. There we go. I can't tell what this is. Uh, 124.75. Boom. Nice. Directly on center. Now the ultimate test. Let's see if I can do a headshot. Okay, do we have enough? Uh, we have three rounds. Okay. That seems like a hit. Oh, that was a little uh, to the, I guess, right? The left? This one's to the right. Yeah, this one's to the right. Oh, I'm out. Yeah, that mechanical accuracy. <laughs> Just a, a few, like, millimeters to the left or the right, and it's just like, man, <laughs> you know, you ain't, you ain't going to hit anything. But that's aiming for the head. But I did get to, I, I did manage to get some headshots. All right. We have three rounds here. Let's just fire them all off. One, two, three. I got one of them. <laughs> all right, so... Now we've got that dialed down to 124.75. Oh, here comes the task of actually using the bipod. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. All right, I put in a new mag, right? Okay, good. Okay, this one's a little too high. I need to move it down a bit. All right, let's see if I can shoot this with a bipod. Probably won't be first try. As I see it. But I'm going to be aiming for the widest, the biggest target. So that's the body. I'm not going to be trying headshots. That's that's a little too... You know, I'm not Agent 47 here. Come on. Okay. Let's see if we can get a good shot here. All my... Uh, if all my calculations are correct. Trust in the data, you know? Yeah, there we go. All right. That was a hit. One more time, just to make sure. Oh, man, I'm so shaky. Okay, hold on. Sorry, just uh, need to uh, readjust. Okay, here we go.
Bam. Solid hit. Oh, man. <laughs> that, is, that is really good. Trust in the data. Trust in it. All right. Oh, man. That was pretty good. Uh, yeah, one, one, two, four, point seven five. So, uh, I don't know what. Yeah, whatever. Uh, that's that's the MOA for the um, the Walther. Ooh, and you know what? Let me see if I can do this again. I I think maybe because I don't know if the, I, I I don't know if um. I don't know if if the simulation is that uh, intricate, but I'm a little farther forward over there. But I'm here next to the uh, the table, so maybe that might be affecting my shots. But let's try the Barrett again. Okay. All right. Where is it? Where are you? Two thousand meters. There we go. I see ya. Got to aim for the biggest target. Oh. That was a little too high. I'm getting there. I'm hitting the back wall. It's just... Oh, where is it? Yeah. Might be because... Uh... <laughs> I don't know what the... I don't know what's going on there. But this should... This should be zeroed. Um, well, you know, this is where, like, this is where the, uh, this is where the training comes into play, right? So I'm hitting really high. I might need to adjust my elevation down. So we're going to do this on the fly. 63. Uh, about 61. Let's do 61. Let's see if I can get this. This is where a spotter comes in handy. He'll do all the calculations for you. <laughs> oh, just landing short. Okay, we were landing uh, about down, so we'll go 62.75. Okay, where is the uh, target there? Ah, so close. Just a little bit. Okay. We want to move down. Up. We want to move the elevation up. So about there. We'll try this. This is how sniping is done in real time. I think. Ah, just a little more. Let's uh, raise it up a bit. Probably 66. I hit something. Was it the frame or was it the target? I'm not too sure. <sighs> that 
There we go, finally. So it changed from 68 to 66. And again, I think it might be because I'm moving. I was probably a little forward last time I shot. Although, was I over there? I don't exactly remember. But yeah, if you change your position, you might have to change a lot of things. Which, I mean, yeah, at, at these extreme distances, uh, you, every every little tiny, every tiny little variable counts, right? I think. I don't know. <laughs> but when Anton implements wind and, like, the Coriolis effect, oh, man, that's just going to be even tougher. But for right now, let's do let's do one more. One more before I stop the video. One more shot. This again, this the the this uh this might have changed. Ooh, do I have enough ammo? I have three rounds. This is pretty bad. I don't know if I can do this. Oh, I got it. <laughs> well, hey, you know, now I can see why a lot of people like the uh, WA two thousand. That's uh, that's a pretty accurate. Uh, that's pretty accurate rifle right there. Oh man, yeah, probably. This video is probably like an hour long already, <laughs> but I think that's about it for today. I am just oh satisfied i am satisfied with that that was pretty good let me find my chair here my other chair next to my computer and uh yeah i think that should be about it for today oh no i want to save this give me the give me this i actually need to save this i should save this because this is uh yeah i don't 1.24 wait 124.75 right yeah so i'm gonna save that there we go throw that away uh and like i said that's probably about it for today i probably wasted everybody's time <laughs> but it was uh it was fun for me so hey i'll see you guys next time